Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And as you can see, I am draped in my Jesus pride flag. Before I talk about this, hey, I hope you're having a great day and things are going well for you. But let me just show you what we got going on here, because here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, we have declared uh, uh, the month of June and the flag to belong to the God of the Bible. You know, there's so much about pride this and pride that. But let me tell you something. I believe, as never before, the churches should not surrender God's rainbow to the LBGTQ community or anyone else. The Bible says, God said this about the rainbow in Genesis chapter number 9 and verse 13. He says, I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token. Uh, it shall be a token for a token, a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. Did you hear that? A token of a covenant between me and the earth, and it shall come to pass when I shall bring a cloud upon the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And check this out. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Look at this. And the bowl shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant. Look at this, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant. This is the token of the covenant which I establish between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. It's the rainbow sign. God said when I see it, it will remind me of the covenant that I made that I will not destroy this planet with water. And you know, my friends, I don't think that we should give these beautiful colors up. As a matter of fact, we've lost ground on it. And we're living in a day now where you see people uh, and they're in the rainbow. Even many of you have asked, even though you can see Jesus pride hanging up over my shoulder here, you want to know what's up with the rainbow. I understand the question. It's a reasonable question. But the only reason that question is a question at all is because we, the church, the body of Christ, allowed the LBGTQ community and others to take the rainbow and to change its meaning and to make it synonymous with something that it is not supposed to be synonymous with. God made the rainbow. God put the bow in the sky and God says it's a sign between, it's a sign of a, of a covenant that he made between himself and the earth and all living creatures. And by the way, my friends, that includes you and that includes me. So throughout the month of June, we will be celebrating Jesus Pride Month. We, we have our pride. Our pride is in the God of the Bible, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for all men, who wants all men to be saved, all white men, all black men, all red men, all yellow men, all straight men, all homosexual men, all women, everybody. Jesus Christ is for everyone. He loves you. And he wants you to experience his love. He wants you to experience his deliverance. He wants you to experience his power. And he wants you to walk and live the, the God first biblical lifestyle and to accept and walk in biblical morals and biblical standards and serve the Lord 
in, in the biblical way and you'll enjoy your life, then you will, as the Bible teach, when life is over, you'll go to live with Jesus Christ forever. And also, my friends, this Monday, we are, it's Memorial Day is coming up, and we are remembering those brave soldiers who have given their life, those brave uh, warriors who have given their lives for our country. You know, the, in the Bible, the God of the Bible is referred to as a warrior, as the God of the host of the armies of Israel, as the Lord of hosts, in various variations, at least 273 times. So we know how God feels about warriors. God loves warriors. He even described himself as a warrior. We know how God feels about the enlisted men. We know how God feels about those who wear the uniform and they protect us. And then those who have paid the ultimate price uh, on our behalf so that we can enjoy this American lifestyle on this Monday, M Memorial Day. My friends, let us remember that uh, men paid a heavy price for us to be able to enjoy what we now enjoy. And in your Memorial Day uh, celebrations, uh, enjoy yourselves, enjoy your family and friends, but take out time, take out a moment, just reflect on the fact that we are paying homage to the memory of those brave uh, people who donned the uniform, who paid the ultimate price. They paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we can enjoy America and to live and to serve uh, uh, God and to have the freedoms that we now have. Now, lastly, all draped in the flag, I want to invite you to join me tonight. Join me tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Now, uh, tonight won't be uh, Jesus Pride. Uh, this that, that starts in June, and we're gonna and we're gonna walk in the Word of the Lord. But I want you to join me tonight for Bible study. And and before I close, I just want to give a big shout out shout out to you. Thank you for your support. I mean, you really have been praying and standing by this ministry. You supported us with your prayers. You supported us with your presence, the cards, the letters, the financial love gifts that you've sent, the kind things that you've posted, the prayers that you've given us. I want you to know we are moved and they are indeed, my friends, appreciated. And I pray that you continue to pray for us and stand by us. We're living in a day where God's truth is being opposed as never before. We're living in a day where preachers seemingly are becoming bored with the Bible and they're preaching other things. They abandon the biblical standard and boast in their abandonment of that standard. Well, I boast in the standard. I'm glad to identify with the God of the Bible. I'm glad to be saved and sanctified. Yes, sanctified and filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. And I know that you are as well. So we're going to stand together. We're going to continue to serve the God of the Bible together. I had a meeting last night with the, some young people and I told them, uh, and they were with one accord with me, we will not forsake the biblical standard, because my friends, the word of the Lord is right. So meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for <laughs> Bible study. <laughs> you guessed it, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. And if you can't be here in person, then we will see you on the, the social media platforms. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. And we're going to walk in the scriptures tonight. May God's choice blessings be yours. Have a great day.